Hey, Amy, thanks uh, for setting this up and uh, appreciate everybody staying on. Uh, looks like Bob's still on. I wanted to give him the rest of the day off because it's his birthday. Uh, but um, we appreciate everything that Bob does. Um, I'm going to share my screen now and uh, just dive into a quick overview of uh, just exactly what else does the SBA do uh, other than uh, this PPP program that we've all been hearing about in national news. Can everybody see uh, my slide deck? Great. Um, so uh, again, I'm Norm Eng, Public Affairs Specialist for the Small Business Administration Massachusetts District Office. We're located in the Tip O'Neill Building next to the TD Garden, downtown Boston. But today I'm, I'm calling in from uh, lovely Milton, Mass in my basement. And um, we just want you to get a better understanding of uh, who we are and how we help uh, outside of a pandemic situation. And so our, miss our mission really is to support small businesses and we've been doing it for over 65 years. Uh, we make the American dream of business ownership a reality and the way we do that is by helping you start and grow uh, your ventures and we do have a network of uh, resource partners and other go-to resources that you can access including capital um, uh, business know-how and also government contracting opportunities doing business with the federal government um, we like to call it, uh, uh, we like to explain it with three C's and a D and an E. Later I'll be talking about the D and the E. But uh, throughout America, if you're uh, in one of the, the states, um, there's an SBA office in that state. And we're part of Region 1 uh, here in Northeast. But uh, if you happen to be in a different part of America, there will be an SBA district office ready to serve you. Uh, if you want to stay in touch with us, go to sba.gov slash MA and subscribe. If you scroll down, there's a subscribe button and you could just enter your email. Currently, we have over 60,000 subscribers. It's, a, it's amazing what a pandemic can do for your, your uh, contact lists, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, we include in our communications that I put out a uh, number of different exclusive events activities and different resources where you can join mostly free uh, through our partner network and uh, all of our information that I'm going to talk about is located on our website. If you notice uh, a bunch of these uh, companies and logos here, they all have one thing in common. They started with some form of SBA help and so uh, Chobani Yogurt got a SBA 504 loan to start the factory. Uh, Steve Jobs of Apple Computer got an investment from our SBIC um, uh, program at a very early stage. Yankee Candle got a loan at a very important time of the business founding. Sal's Pizza, this is more uh, local successes, Sal's Pizza located in um, uh, north of Boston and also in the TD Garden selling these uh, foot long slices of pizza. Uh, Sal, Sal spoke at one of our events uh, a few years back and he gave the story of how he started his pizza shop with a $100,000 loan when he was in his early 20s. It's crazy. Um, and so just a couple updates and new news that uh, Bob already spoke about. Uh, stay in touch with us, uh, sba.gov slash updates. Uh, today is uh, National Entrepreneurs Day. Check out our newsletter. I'll go through our newsletter at the end, but um, EIDL portal still is open. Uh, Bob mentioned uh, the 21st of December is the deadline. Shop small hashtag, uh, small business Saturday, which uh, our agency partners uh, with American Express on uh, every year. This year, it's uh, November 28th. It's an extremely special year this year. Uh, after Thanksgiving, we want to make sure that uh, we support our neighborhood small businesses as much as possible with all that they're going through. And actually, uh, Small Business Strong, a, a separate resource, has partnered with the Boston Chamber to uh, do this virtual Small Business Saturday um, shopping um, event. So if you go to shopsmallboston.splashthat.com, you can check it out. And small businesses can still register to be in this virtual sort of shopping fair on Small Business Saturday. 
Uh, every month in our office, we do government contracting webinars uh, and give you a lowdown on how to get certified and how to do business with the government. Uh, we are currently waiting on a second stimulus bill on Capitol Hill. I uh, don't know when that's going to happen and definitely want you to follow us on Twitter. Those are the, these are the main sort of updates that uh, I want everybody to sort of take away from today. But I do want to get into quickly just exactly what SBA does and just give you an thumbnail sketch of what we do. And like I said, we like to describe it with three C's, a D and an E. Um, Council and Capital Contracting, uh, we do have an office of advocacy on Capitol Hill that uh, acts as a voice for you, the small business owner, and and uh, voices you know, any issues or concerns to lawmakers. And um, the disaster assistance piece, you all seen this past year of what we do uh, when there's an, a disaster. Uh, but the three C's, the first C is capital that I want to uh, talk about. And so access to capital. Uh, and Bob, um, feel free to interject at any time. Uh, but uh, this year, Bob also mentioned, uh, I put out a news release uh, last uh, couple weeks ago, I believe, and uh, it was a historic year. Uh, I mean, the Paycheck Protection Program in Massachusetts service over 100,000 small businesses, totaling 14 billion. That's amazing. Uh, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program made about 60,000 approvals, totaling 3.5 billion. So um, we're getting into a situation where we've unprecedented and we haven't done you know, this much activity uh, over the course of years. So just like, you know, just like uh, aggregated uh, over a short period of time. But in the world of entrepreneurial financing okay i love to show this graphic because it shows you all the different ways you can fund your business and so on the left side of the spectrum it's easier money to get uh the the right side of the spectrum is harder money and more onerous on the borrower so sba lending is a little easier to get than uh regular commercial lending conventional lending uh of course we would all love to you know, have sparkling credit and just walk into a bank and just say, hey, I want a loan to start to grow my business. But, you know, in reality, we all don't have, you know, perfect credit and, you know, uh, perfect applicant situation. But um, how does SBA lending work? Well, what we usually tell folks is to go to the bank you're currently doing business with. Uh, for me, it's Citizens Bank. Uh, or you can go to any bank that you think you want to do business with um, instead of the bank that you're currently with. But it usually works best because the bank that you're currently doing business with has a track record of you, they have history, and they know who you are, and uh, they have some trust built. Uh, the main program that I'm talking about here is something called the SBA 7A, which I'll talk about. It's a government-guaranteed program, and so... Uh, the money doesn't come from the government, doesn't come from the SBA, it comes from the bank. And usually uh, what will happen is the SBA will guarantee a percentage of the deal so that it helps you, the borrower, get a green light. So uh, you will work with your bank of choice to uh, service the loan and all that. Uh, the SBA really is sort of a guarantor and just sort of says, Okay, uh, we will uh, back this applicant and give you the green and uh, and help give you the green light. Why do lenders use the SBA guarantee? Well, in many instances, longer maturities may be needed by the borrower. Uh, maybe collateral is insufficient to meet normal underwriting. Maybe it's a startup business or a different type of business, like a restaurant, which is a uh, high risk. Um, the terms of an SBA 7A uh, loan. Uh, are below. Interest rates typically cannot exceed prime plus 2.75 percent. So what the SBA does is they set us, we set a ceiling so that banks cannot go over that ceiling. The current prime rate right now is 3.25 percent. So plus 2.75 percent is 6 percent ceiling. So the, a bank can't give you more than 6 percent is what the deal is there. Um, banks look for owners and operators with good credit and character. 
So really uh, what you're going to be looking to do is uh, submit a feasible business plan, which our free advisors and free counseling service can help you with. Uh, they're looking for management expertise and commitment necessary to success. They're going to look at all of the different owners that are applying uh, for an application, and they want to see that maybe you have sufficient funds in the bank uh, and adequate equity investment so that you're not just running on fumes looking for cash in any way that you can get it. So um, really, uh, a bank is looking at all this type of stuff to, to approve you. So uh, like I said, this. There's uh, our signature uh, bank loan program called the 7A Loan Guarantee Program. Uh, is one of the buckets that I'll be talking about. The second bucket is the 504 program, which is for machine, uh, real estate machinery and equipment, uh, and then a micro loan program. But this graphic here just sort of gives you a breakdown of the different details of the program. We do have a le uh, lender matching service similar to like a, a dating service for uh, app between applicants and uh, uh, lending institutions. If you go to sba.gov slash lender match and fill out 10 questions uh, about your application, within a couple of days, we have a bunch of lenders that will reach back out to you if they find your application um, appetizing to what they're looking for in uh, loan applicants. So uh, it's a pretty successful uh, tool here to finding SBA approved lenders. Uh, there's a number of ways where, how as a small business looking for capital, you can do this and finding SBA funding. So again, number one, go to your bank that you're currently doing business with. Number two, trying lender match. Now the second program uh, for SBA capital that uh, is, is really a hidden gem in SBA lending is something called the SBA 504 CDC pro company uh, program. Uh, and so the structure of this 504 loan program is um, you can get up to $5 million. And again, it's for long-term fixed assets and uh, generally 10 to or 20 years. Um, you are putting down 10%. So if it's a million dollar uh, commercial real estate uh, deal, you're gonna put down 100K. The SBA and a CDC is gonna uh, loan you 40% or 400,000. And then a bank of your choice, uh, like a Bank of America or like a Citizens Bank or a, a Eastern Bank is gonna come in at 500,000. So the beauty of this deal is it helps with conservation of cash at purchase, lower equity requirement, only 10%, usually something like this. Uh, you're going to put down 20 to 30 percent varies uh, with the deal deal. But um, it, it's uh, something that uh, currently we're at historic lows it's up 2.5 percent uh, more or less. This is a picture of a success story that I wrote uh, a bunch of years back, maybe five years ago, about um, a Chinatown business owner uh, who was leasing in uh, the, um, the leather district near Chinatown. And as you know, in the city of Boston, uh, rent is very high. So he wanted to buy a place. So he decided to buy this mixed use, multi-service, uh, multi-unit um, uh, building in Southie next to Broadway station. Uh, and uh, he's, he owns this building now and he has a uh, food service equipment uh, business where there's a walk-in retail store on the first floor. There's a steel fabrication shop in the back. And on top, on the second floor, there's an office. There's five units. So he's renting out to a barbershop and Domino's Pizza on the first floor. So really, it's kind of like a real estate investment where you can also collect rent. So uh, the 504 is a true uh, you know, um, small business uh, lending tool that uh, if you use correctly, it can definitely benefit your business. This is a slide on just what the loan proceeds are used for. Uh, pretty much you just have to make sure you're 51% owner occupied and uh, use it for the right things. And it's a, it's a economic development tool. So really, you know, you're, you're trying to um, uh, spread and perpetuate economic development in your community. Uh, so I talked about 7A guaranteed. That's one bucket. The second bucket was that 504. 
the third bucket of funding is the SBA microloan. And this is a program for the small, small guys on Main Street that typically all they need is 10, 20K to um, support their business. The microloan program here, uh, you can borrow up to 50K. And so this is a picture of a, um, a dessert uh, bubble tea type uh, small business based in Dorchester near Fields Corner. And I was uh, lucky to be there to support their grand opening and uh, with the micro lender Axion, which is now, uh, there's a new name, uh, but uh, this was Axion back then with um, city councilor um, Campbell there. So I talked about uh, capital, the first C. Um, the, the second C is government contracting. And so what you need to know is that uh, we did have friends from the state, and uh, but with the federal government, we're on different type of government. Uh, we have separate certifications uh, uh, aside from state government. And so just know that uh, there's state certifications and there's also federal government certifications. And so with uh, federal government certifications, our goal is to make sure that 23% of all government contracting dollars goes to small businesses. And within that 23%, we want to make sure women-owned businesses get a piece of the pie, service-disabled veterans uh, get a piece of the pie, and small disadvantaged businesses get a piece of the pie. There's two different uh, types of certifications that we offer. One is formal certification by the SBA. There's a program called HubZone, uh, which is 3% of that goal, and the 8A business development, which is 5% of that goal. And so those are uh, more um, paperwork having to do with paperwork, and you really have to um, uh, submit a whole application. But there's also self-certification where you go into sam.gov and you sign up and you just check off a box uh, as a small disadvantaged business, veteran-owned or women-owned. Um, and I'm going to get deeper into that. So first, um, one of our most popular certifications is something called the AA Business Development uh, Program. It's a nine-year program. This is a uh, picture of one of our success stories, Tanya Johnson. She's the owner of a Vision Sewn ancient, ba ancient baking company. And so Tanya started out uh, as a um, vegan cookie company. And Tanya came to some of our events and found out about our 8A business development certification. She became very determined, wanted to grow her business, and looking at other avenues to uh, create revenue streams. And so she applied for the 8A business development program. And guess what? We never thought that she would be able to sell cookies to the government. <laughs> uh, and uh, turns out that uh, what she did was she pivoted her company and got a contract, got really lucky and landed a contract at Otis Air Force Base. The pictures that you see below is of her business and her employees serving um, at the Otis Air Force Base. So um, what I'm saying here is that um, you can get certified and then try and pivot. And um, Tanya Johnson here is a uh, perfect example of some of the, uh, the, the power of um, certification and working with the federal government. They have, we have a separate pro, uh, certification called HubZone. So if your business is located physically in an address that is considered a historically underutilized business zone, uh, you could qualify. But there's other sort of um, eligibility requirements. As you see here, a uh, percentage of your employees must also reside in a HubZone location. Uh, and... Um, uh, 51% of the uh, owner individuals must be American citizens, 3% goal set aside. So there is a map. If you Google SBA hub zone, it'll bring up a map. You could type in your business address and find out if you're actually in a hub zone. Uh, the 8A business development program, uh, Tanya Johnson, just some uh, details about this certification. And so this is really for socially and economically disadvantaged business owners, 
um, uh, which includes uh, the uh, protected uh, minority status. You can also be a white male, white female. Uh, you must be in uh, business for two years. Uh, and uh, it's just a very uh, great program because you're limit getting limited competition. In, in many instances, uh, no competition as well. Uh, if you want to find out about eligibility, you can go to certify.sba.gov uh, to find out more about what's really exactly required to apply and uh, am I eligible. If you need help, there's free services that we can connect you with. There's something called Procurement Technical Assistance Center, www.msbdc.org slash PTAC. You can uh, schedule a uh, free counseling session. Uh, to find out more. Okay, I talked about capital, talked about contracting. The third C is counseling and uh, education, information, technical assistance, training free of charge. This graphic here shows you uh, the different services that uh, are within our network, including the Women's Business Centers, Veterans Business Outreach Centers, Export Assistance Centers, Certified Development Companies, SCORE and SBDCs. And so locally, these are the websites that you should reach out to to schedule a meeting. They can help you from almost anything, one-on-one, -on -one, free and confidential business co consulting. And uh, they've been swamped. You know, uh, this difficult time has brought more and more clients to their doorstep. And so we're extremely lucky to have them by our side and and uh, working with us to to get the small business community back up on their feet. For veterans, we want you to connect with um, the Center for Women and Enterprise, which houses uh, this outreach center. Uh, there's tons of programs just for veterans, uh, whether you're just thinking about starting a business or trying to expand a uh, existing business. Um, there's free resources and lending programs for you as well. MSBDC.org is a organization uh, of um, advisors. Uh, across the region, every region in Massachusetts has a regional office. Uh, it's free and confidential again. And this is a picture of uh, a business called Yummy Treasures in uh, Western Massachusetts. Um, they're the number one selling business on Etsy.com, which is a very popular uh, arts and crafts website. And so they're number one in the US, number three globally. They sell tons of beads. And uh, our SBDC office out in Western Mass helped them find a uh, small business location and help them with their business uh, to, to grow and expand their business. The Center for Women and Enterprise is located in downtown Boston as well as Westboro. And, uh, you know, sometimes a woman just needs to talk to another woman about things. And so our women's business centers, there's over 100 across America, and Center for Women and Enterprise uh, regularly has classes and different uh, supports for women specific and uh, networking opportunities. Uh, a lot of um, their uh, workshops, they charge a minimal fee, but um, there's uh, if you there's scholarships. So if you're having issues, you can just ask to to get that fee uh, reduced or waived. <coughs> Excuse me. Score is a nationwide uh, nonprofit that offers uh, free counseling mentorship. Uh, we offer space to the Boston SCORE chapter, which was the 2017 National SCORE chapter of the year. Um, uh, within uh, the Tip O'Neill, we, we have donated space to them, but they're all working remote now, as you can imagine. So that's the three C's, uh, capital, contracting, and counseling. And the E is exporting. These are details from uh, our exporting grant from last year, but it's relevant to this year. Last year, last December, they had the annual Export Expo. Uh, it's a great event. Uh, if you're looking to expand your business overseas, uh, the uh, export program is amazing with the state. And the Export Expo that they do is phenomenal every year. Um, closing out the disaster loan programs that we are from, you know about already the PPP EIDL. Um, there was recently another EIDL um, op funding opportunity available because of drought. So um, 
what you should also know is if your home or your rental property gets damaged, you can take out this loan as well. Other resources that I've found helpful, uh, there's a, a coalition called Small Small Business Strong. You can go to SBA uh, small www.smallbstrong.com, and then MBA <coughs> MBA's Response.org. Sorry, uh, MBA's Response.org evolved from MBA's Fight COVID. I did a workshop with them, and uh, it's, uh, if you have a project as a small business where you want an MBA to to come help you, um, you can. Uh, do an intake form and apply. Small Business Strong also has uh, advisors that can uh, help you with anything. So uh, with that, uh, that's my time. Um, you can reach me at norman.eng at sba.gov. Um, do wanna make myself available for any questions? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is there anybody out there who may want to say hello and uh, ask me anything? AMA time? It hey. looks like we did have a question come in. Uh, what is the Center for Women in Enterprise doing for events and classes during COVID? Have those organizations um, shifted their content, have you noticed? Oh man, yeah, thanks for uh, being interested in uh, CWE. Let me actually take you to our um, latest newsletter and I'll show you how to get there uh, do you see our website Amy yes perfect okay great so this is sba.gov slash ma and then we do have a calendar of events every month uh, that uh, all of our partners including Center for Women and Enterprise Women's Business Center so you could find Women's Business Center events here on our website calendar or you can sign up for our email updates down here and the latest newsletter that we put out for November gives you all of the the news and updates that we shoot out to the public uh, please subscribe uh, even a uh, full on-demand PPP forgiveness website that our spectacular uh, lender relations team put together Dan Martinello if you click here, you can see the full uh, webinar on PPP loan forgiveness. But if you keep scrolling down, I I aggregate a lot of our events, especially from our Women's Business Center. And then um, there's also a electronic resource guide that we put out. Um, but if you go to Center for Women and Enterprise, we have the contact information there. They do remote counseling, uh, so you can shoot them an email and um, also go to the class calendar here. Uh, and they do tons of great events every month. That's what that's what they do well. And um, if you go to the events tab, do you see the CWE website here? Yes. Okay. So as you can see, most of these are free. and. Uh, they would love for you to join. Now the um, Boston, this is the Boston calendar here, is different from the Central Massachusetts calendar. So if you go to the Central Massachusetts page, there's also Central Massachusetts events. Facebook advertising on 11-23. They just do a lot of great events, Tuesday talks. Um, does that answer your question? Hopefully, yes. Yes, I, that was perfect. Thank you so much.